Guys, this is how to never forget the reversible causes of cardiac arrest. Now, if you're thinking the H's and T's, you're on the right track, but we've got a problem. Sure, you might remember that all the H's are the hypos, but this will help you if you're struggling to recall what those hypos even are. All you need to remember is the word that's probably going through your mind anyway. Something similar to, oh, fuck. F is for fluids. Could this be driven by hypovolemia? O is for oxygen. Is this arrest caused by hypoxemia? Then we're on to C. Are they too cold? Could this be hypothermia driven? And K to think of potassium, hypokalemia. But actually, to remember any electrolyte abnormality. That's the H's done and we're on to the T's. This one is genius and shout out to you guys because it was one of you who put this in the comment a few years ago and it's stuck with me ever since. That's to throw 10 toxic tampons. Throw is for thrombosis to remind you of clots that could be in the lungs like PE, VTE or an MI. 10 for the life-threatening tension pneumothorax. Toxic to think of toxins. Have they overdosed or ingested any poisons? You then want to consider their reversing agents. And lastly, tampons for tamponade. When blood leaks into the pericardium and strangles the heart. Check with an ultrasound and consider pericardiocentesis to drain it. Now you know the mnemonic to remember the H's and T's mnemonic is given inception. If you want more, don't forget to like, comment, and follow.